fellow sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today, we're going to be going with my NFL playoff predictions. So last week, I had a record of 13-3, and three, and that brings my record on the NFL season to 174-98. and 98. But getting into the playoffs, I will be predicting the entire postseason, as you can see with the bracket, and not just the wildcard round. But kicking things off with the wildcard round, starting off in the AFC, we have the Browns at the Texans. So this is one of the toughest games to predict in the first round, as we have the Browns, a team that went 11-6 in the regular season and has a tremendous defense, against the Texans, who were the most surprising team this season, winning the AFC South with a record of 10-7. So I'm expecting this to be a lower-scoring game, as both teams have good defenses. As for the Browns, they allow just 270 total yards per game, which is best in the NFL, and they allow 21.3 points per game. Then for the Texans, they quietly have a good defense, allowing 20.8 points a game, which is 11th best. Now, offensively, I trust C.J. Stroud more than I trust Joe Flacco, although Joe Flacco has been great for the Browns, throwing for 323 yards per game. But this is a game that could go either way. I'm going to take the Browns with the win because of their defense, and they're the more experienced team. But the Texans are home, and I, I could definitely see them with the win, but I've got the Browns coming out on top. Moving on, we have the Dolphins at the Chiefs. So Tyreek Hill returns to Arrowhead for the first time. Now, neither team has been playing all that well lately, as the Dolphins have lost two in a row and blew a big lead in the AFC East and fell all the way to the sixth seed. Now, for the Chiefs, they've won two games in a row, but they haven't been the greatest team this season and have are not nearly as good as they have been in the recent seasons. But I do think the Chiefs will end up winning this game, and a few reasons why. One being their defense, which is the second-best scoring defense in the NFL, allowing 17.3 points per game. And now, I know the Dolphins' offense is good, scoring 29.2 points a game. But in games against other top 10 defenses, the Dolphins are only scoring 17.8 points a game and are 1-4 in those games. So I think that trend continues this week for the Dolphins. Now the other reason the Chiefs win this game is the Chiefs are home and temperatures for this game are going to be played near zero, uh, making it one of the coldest NFL games ever. And we're talking about the Dolphins, a team who's used to playing in Miami in warm weather. So I'm going to take the Chiefs in a low-scoring game because of the cold weather and their defense, and the Chiefs win by a score of 16-13. And our final AFC wildcard game, we have the Steelers at the Bills. So this is the one playoff game that I don't really have much trouble predicting. The Bills are red hot, winning five games in a row. And the Steelers are also trending in the right direction, winning three straight games with Mason Rudolph at quarterback. But the Bills are miles better than the Steelers. I don't really think the Steelers are a playoff caliber football team, but they're in the playoff picture every year thanks to Mike Tomlin. And obviously you're in the playoffs this season thanks to Mike Tomlin. But the Steelers will also be playing without TJ Watt, who suffered a knee injury against the Ravens. And he is a huge part of their defense, but also their team. But the Bills, they're the much better team on both sides of the ball. They score 26.5 points a game compared to the Steelers' 17.9 points a game. And defensively, the Bills allow 18.3 points a game, while the Steelers allow 19.1 points a game. So I'm going to take the Bills fairly easily by a score of 31-13. And moving on to the NFC wildcard round, beginning with the Eagles at the Buccaneers. So this is another very interesting game to predict. Because the Eagles, they look terrible right now, losing five of their last six games, and the defense is awful, allowing 25.2 points per game, which is third worst in the NFL. The Eagles also have some key injuries, such as Jalen Hurts, who has a finger injury, and A.J. Brown, who's been missing practice with a knee injury. So we don't know if they're going to play. Now, if those players don't play, the Eagles' chances are not looking great. The Buccaneers, they won the NFC South and are 9-8, and but they only barely beat the Panthers last week as they won 9 nothing. Now, the Buccaneers are a solid team, scoring 20.5 points a game and allowing 19.1 points per game. But this is a game where I really have no idea who to predict. If the Eagles are without Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown, I would take the Buccaneers. And I could definitely see the Buccaneers winning even if the Eagles are healthy because of the Eagles' struggles late. The Eagles are the better team on paper, but this is a game that could definitely go either way. I'm going to take the Eagles by a score of 24-21, but this is the game in the wildcard round I'm the least confident about. Moving on, we have the Rams at the Lions. So the Lions, they're hosting a playoff game for the first time since 1993, or the 1993 season that was actually played in 1994. But the Lions are also looking for their first playoff win since 1992. So not only are the Lions hosting a playoff game for the first time in 30 years, but Matthew Stafford is also making his return to Detroit for the first time since being traded. But this is going to be a great game. Both teams have great offenses, as the Lions score 27.1 points a game and the Rams score 23.8 points a game. This is a game that I could definitely see going either way. I could definitely see the Rams with the win, but I'm going to take the Lions to get their first playoff win in 32 years as they beat the Rams in a thriller 31-26 in Matthew Stafford's return to Detroit. 
And our final wild card round game, we have the Packers at the Cowboys. So this is another game that is extremely tough to predict. So first, Mike McCarthy faces his former team and the Packers, a team that has had a lot of success against the Cowboys in their recent meetings, winning nine of the last ten. And this is a game that is tough to predict because the Cowboys, they've struggled in the postseason. But this is a better Cowboys team than it has been in the recent seasons. Plus, it's a good matchup for the Cowboys. As the Cowboys offense is the best offense in the NFL, scoring 29.9 points per game. And they face a Packers defense that is allowing 20.6 points a game, but struggled down the stretch of the season. So I think the Cowboys will be able to score on the Packers defense. And also, the Cowboys defense is good at allowing 18.5 points a game, which is fifth best in the NFL. So the Cowboys are the more well-rounded team. They're also the more experienced team as the Packers, one of the youngest teams in the NFL. And I'm going to trust the Cowboys offense to score on a not great Packers defense and get the win in the playoffs by a score of 31 to 20. Moving back over to the AFC side of things for the divisional round, we have the Browns at the Ravens. So this potential matchup gives us another interesting storyline, as that is Joe Flacco returning to Baltimore, a place he spent 11 seasons and won a Super Bowl with the Ravens. Now, the Ravens, they had the best record in the NFL during the regular season as they went 13-4, and and they've been great on both sides of the ball as they scored 28.4 points a game and allowed 16.5 points per game. But I would expect this game to be a lower-scoring game as both teams have tremendous defenses. The Browns' defense is among the best in the NFL. Now, the knock on Lamar Jackson has been his playoff success, and he definitely has a chance to change that as he's part of a terrific Ravens team. And I think he changes or starts to change that narrative at least and that starts with the win over the Browns. So I've got the Ravens with the win in a defensive game by a score of 20 to 13. So we've got the one seeded Ravens moving on. And the other AFC divisional round matchup, we have the Chiefs at the Bills. So the Chiefs and Bills meet in another postseason game. And this time, for the first time in his career, Patrick Mahomes will be playing a road playoff game. Now, I don't think the Chiefs are a truly elite team this year like they have been in the past years. But their defense is the best defense they've had in the Mahomes era yet the offense might be the worst offense they've had with Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. Now, the Chiefs are scoring just 21.8 points a game and haven't hit 30 points a game in seven games, and I have it being eight as I have them not hitting 30 in the division round matchup against the Dolphins. Now, for the Bills, they got the win in the regular season at Arrowhead, so I definitely think they can do it at home in the postseason, and I think they can finally beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. Now, the Bills, they're the more well-rounded team as they score 26.5 points per game, and allow 18.3 points per game compared to the Chiefs scoring 21.8 points a game and allowing 17.3 points a game. So the first career playoff road game for Patrick Mahomes is his first career playoff loss before the AFC Championship game. The Bills finally beat the Chiefs in the playoffs, and they win by a score of 24-20. I don't think this will be quite be as high scoring as some of the other Chiefs-Bills games we've seen in the playoffs, but I still think it will be a pretty good game. And moving to the NFC side of things, we've got the Eagles at the 49ers as our first matchup. So this is a regular season rematch where we saw the 49ers dominate the Eagles and win 42-19. And that was a game that was in Philly. The 49ers, they have had some injuries pop up recently, but they have a bye in the divisional round, or sorry, the wildcard round. And this game's obviously taking place in the divisional round. So I'm going to disregard most of those injuries and say the 49ers are mostly healthy because most of those injuries are just short-term things for the 49ers. Now, the Eagles also have injuries to Hurts and Brown, as I said a second ago. But if they make it here, they should be uh, pretty much healthy. Now, the Eagles, they've been playing poorly lately. I also have them barely sneaking past the Buccaneers. The 49ers are a lot better here, and they're a lot better than the Bucs as well. And the 49ers have that defense that the Eagles don't have. The 49ers win and make their third straight NFC Championship game with a 34-21 win over the Eagles. And they get revenge in the playoffs for the NFC Championship game last year. And the other NFC Divisional game, we have the Lions at the Cowboys. So this is another playoff game where it is a rematch of the regular season. In this case, it is a regular season game that occurred late in the season, as these teams met in Week 17 when the Cowboys won 21-20. But it should have been the Lions because the refs messed up if Taylor Decker was eligible or not. Now, I'm expecting another good game between these two teams. I'm expecting a few more points than the, the first time these two teams met, as both teams have high-scoring offenses. The Cowboys are yet to lose at home this season, but I think that changes here. The Lions should have won in Week 17. I think they get the win here, and they make the NFC Championship game for the first time since 1991, and they beat the Cowboys by a score of 28-24. Back over to the AFC for the AFC Championship game with the Bills at the Ravens. 
So this is going to be a great game. It is really tough to predict it because both these teams are incredibly well-rounded and both are right on both sides of the ball, as both teams have top six scoring offenses and scoring defenses. Plus, both teams have a quarterback who can simply take the game over with his arm or his legs. So this is a true coin flip for me. I think the Ravens' defense is a little bit better, and I think that's going to be the difference in this game. But this has been the hardest game for me to predict so far. Ravens win in a really good game, 27-24. Uh, and they advance to the Super Bowl. And in the NFC Championship game, we have the Lions against the 49ers. So the Lions, they are one win away from making their first Super Bowl appearance in franchise history. But they now have to go to San Francisco against a really good 49ers team. This is a game I would expect to be a higher scoring game. Both teams have top five offenses as the Lions score 27.1 points per game and the 49ers score 28.9 points a game. Now defensively is where these teams are a little bit different as the 49ers have the much better defense allowing 17.5 points a game while the Lions allow 23.2 points a game. And I think that's going to be the difference in this game. The 49ers make it to the Super Bowl, to the Super Bowl with a 31-24 win over the Lions. And the Lions uh, Super Bowl drought continues. To just make a Super Bowl. And in Super Bowl 58, we have the Ravens against the 49ers. So this may seem like an unrealistic matchup with both one seeds in the Super Bowl because it doesn't happen that often. I know we saw it last year, but it's only happened a few times since the NFL implemented seeding. But I think these two teams are the best two teams in the NFL, so it makes sense that I have them playing in the Super Bowl. Now, these two teams played in the regular season in Week 16 with the 49ers winning, uh, sorry, the Ravens winning 33-19. And that game was played in San Francisco. Now, obviously, this game will be played in Las Vegas. That is just something to note, that the 49ers lost to the Ravens in San Francisco. But both teams are really, really good. Both teams are great on both sides of the ball. Offensively, the Ravens score 28.4 points per game, and the 49ers score 28.9 points a game. And defensively, the Ravens allow 16.5 points a game, while the 49ers allow 17.5 points a game. So these are two extremely good teams, two extremely evenly matched teams. This is a true coin flip for me. I'm pretty confident one of these three teams will end up winning the Super Bowl, but the problem for me is just picking which team that's going to be. But I have the Ravens winning Super Bowl 58 by a score of 28-24. This is the hardest game for me to predict in the entire playoffs and probably of the entire season. But I have the Ravens winning with Lamar Jackson winning Super Bowl MVP. I really have no reasoning for this game aside from a gut feeling because I have no idea who's going to win this game. Both teams are super, super good, and I've got the Ravens with the win and winning Super Bowl 58. But this is a game that can definitely go either way. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. I want to know in the comments what your Super Bowl matchup is and who you have winning. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. I do my best to post as often as possible. And I will see you in the next video.